Hello everyone. I am Dr. Tom Mawinney. Everyone calls me Dr. Tom and this will be the first of my teaching memos. Uh, I'm doing this on three different cameras. Um, one to my left, one on my iPhone to my right or in front of me, and my um, laptop. So this is something different for me. See if I can uh, do a little kind of fancy editing to get all these in there. Um, the course officially starts on Monday, January 23rd. I'm making this available uh, two weeks ahead of time, but I'm not, gonna, not going to send this out uh, until about a week before because people are still enrolling and one of my courses only has four people in it right now and I know it's going to have more. So uh, this will be available on Monday, uh, two weeks prior to the course starting. Um, you're going to receive teaching memos like this um, <clears throat> once a week, um, usually on Monday. I try to get it uh, done Monday morning or Monday afternoon. Occasionally it's Monday late if uh, things I have a lot of things going on. Uh, and you'll see I, I'm doing this. This is my 640 course, but I'm recording this um, for both of my uh, my 603 course and my 640 course. Some of you that are in my 640 course have been in my 603 course and some of you that are in my 603 course uh, are now in my 640 course. So you probably have a leg up on everyone because you know how I operate. So that's good. Um, so this is the welcome page. This is where this is what you will see. Um, you'll see my um, teaching memo. You click on that. I'll click on that right now and it'll take it'll take you to uh, of sign uh, a browser or a link or a menu <laughs> that says save. I would recommend saving everything, save save as, and then create a folder. Um, you'll be able to see that I have a 640 folder, I have a 603 folder, and that's what I would recommend for you is to create a, a folder. I think I've mentioned that in one of my videos as well. So um, that's uh, what you'll be should be expecting every week um, and when you email me um, please put the course and section number in the subject for example EDSN 64021 EDSN 64023 EDSN 60321 those are the three courses I'm teaching this semester so you need to know that I I usually have 25 students in each class, that's 75 students, so if you're emailing me, um, I have to go through a whole bunch of work to find out what class you're in. Uh, but if you put it in the subject area, I don't have to go through any work. So, Plus I save all your emails as well, I file them by course. So um, please put the course number and your section number in the subject area when you email me. Um, there are many helpful videos throughout this course and I would recommend uh, watching them if you want to know what I expect and how you can get an A+. Now, do you have to watch them? Well, there are many students, I'm sure, that have gone through my course um, without watching them. Um, have they gotten an A+. Au contraire, mon frere. <laughs> uh, it's very difficult to get an A+, without watching the videos. Uh, in my course because they explain everything that I want you to do. So that's why I like I open the course two weeks early so you can get you can watch all the videos. There's I know in um, click on me first is what you'll see. Um, but let me talk about that now. Um, when you start <laughs> um, you should go to I usually have people go to click on me first uh, but you'll see here where it says getting started. Um, if you click on getting started, that's in every Turo course, and they go through some first steps about downloading the syllabus. And um, the, the two things that I want to say right now is to do the memorandum of understanding, and it's very simple. It's a quick survey that says that you won't lie, cheat, steal, or commit heinous uh, crimes. And then the Turo College and uh, academic integrity statement those are simple things they just want to make sure you understand and in case there's any problems later on 
uh, there's no litigation naturally <laughs> it's all about litigation so that's the thing you should do first there's some resources here for you I think there's an APA uh, resources uh, the Purdue Owls website um, and both of my courses for your initial posts for your discussion board you need to use proper APA format in citations and references only you don't have to double space you don't have to have um, a you don't have to have a uh, title page you don't have to have a header etc etc just citations and reference list only um, there's a Turo College Writing Center uh, that if you are struggling with that I will if you are struggling with writing and many of my students do because they're non-native speakers I will be referring you to the Writing Center uh, because that's something you really need to work on if you want to be successful um, so there's also some discussion board tips here and the links to the Turo College Library okay now for my course I want you to click on syllabus start here and you'll you'll see that it says click on me first click on that and there are five videos that you need to watch three of them are in general about the course these first two have con table of contents where you can skip around in them uh, these three are uh, they don't they're about the discussion boards two are on the discussion boards and one is a general um, course information so there are five videos uh, and they're probably 12 to 15 minutes in length a piece so that's why it's good to get on into this course um, early and so what else do I have on the syllabus start here I have the syllabus um, and you can download it right click on it uh, and I have uh, this is the 640 course and uh, each one is the same there's a link here about netiquette and there is a uh, at a glance schedule here which has links to everything so if you can't get to something in the course materials lots of times um, PDF files won't load and I don't know why that is um, I never really ha have a problem on my um, computer but people do so you can go in here and also uh, also find you can also find um, everything you need um, and, and if you go into coursework by week you'll see that there's a session folder for every session there's dates for them there are um, learning targets uh, that you should look at and say okay this is what I need to know and be able to do by the end of this session most sessions are a week long when we get down into um, the holiday season uh, you'll see that there is a, a like April 3rd to April 23rd so there's a big gap um, towards the end of the uh, session end of the course which is good because it'll give you a chance to get all, all your work uh, caught up um, so that that's what my sessions out and I was telling you I meant I, I thought I was telling you that that you'll see in coursework um, by week each, each session has an ass assignments folder has a course materials folder and a this week's presentations folder. Um, if you have issues please email me you can um, I, I talk about um, ways uh, to get in touch with me in the instructor information here you'll see that there is a um, click on this link for a short video of Dr. Tom and um, I recorded it with my iPhone which many of you will be doing for a project and there's my contact video Hi, there I am I'm um, wearing the same my, shirt I, holy cow I'm wearing the sweat, same sweatshirt I must have done that recently <laughs> okay enough of that nonsense um, the, fir the first thing you should do when you start getting involved in the course is to is to um, go into um, the discuss all discussions there are a couple of ways of getting to this the discussion boards um, naturally one one of the one of the ways is to go through the um, blackboard and um, I, I will go into coursework by week um, there will be a link in the assignments it'll say um, 
introduction icebreaker and you'll see this little uh, pin here you, if you click on that you can it'll take you right to the um, discussion board if you also go into this link all discussions you'll see um, any discussion boards that are open and there's introductions you should go in there um, I've already made my post click on create thread your name will come up here um, if you've created an avatar uh, which I mentioned in one of my videos your picture will be up here and that's what I hope you all do create this avatar so um, we can it makes it much more personable um, every time we, we you log on or you make a post we see your face and that's nice um, so uh, that's one way to get to the discussion your, those two those are two ways to get to the discussion boards um, in in the assignments link and in all discussions link over here I, I always use all discussions because it takes me to the actual discussion board and you can see on this in this discussion board I'm having a wordle every time you add a your introduction to it I, I add that to the wordle this is the ending wordle of last semester um, and I will start a fresh one when I people start um, making their posts so it, wordle is an interesting thing you, the most common words used you can see are highlighted or bigger so this is a great way if you're brainstorming um, you can create a wordle of all your brainstorms and the keywords will pop right out at you um, and I, I have a video about using um, a online survey tool um, where the teacher also uses Wordle uh, as she summarizes the um, what her, her students comments are so um, all the time I'm trying to expose you to uh, technology and to uh, techniques that you should use in your class um, which really is what it's all about especially in my methods class but um, even in my assessment class I'm always trying to use um, uh, do nows, uh, think pair shares. Of course, I'm not using them in my online course, but I'm sharing that with you. Turn and talk, um, all ways to engage your students. So, so make sure you do the the icebreaker first. That's uh, that way we all get to know each other. Um, I also would request, and this is a request that I'm going to be hounding you on because I'll be able to tell if you read my teaching memo because in this teaching memo I ask you to email me. And in that email I ask you to send me uh, your personal email and your cell phone number. Um, you don't know how many times that I've had to contact people either by text message or their personal email because either they don't monitor their Turo email, um, they don't have it on their cell phone, and in, in one of my videos, click on me first, I tell you how to add uh, your Turo email to your cell phone. That way you always you always have it because I'm always, that you typically is the only way I communicate with my students is by Turo email. Uh, I, I ask for your personal email because when you if pe every semester people don't read their Turo email so I would have in emergencies I have to contact you either by a text message or by your personal email to get a hold of you so please send me that information in uh, an email to me uh, and I will know that you have watched my teaching memo um, your session one assignment is due on January 29th that's one week um, and as I mentioned, you'll have two weeks to do to contribute to our first discussion board. So don't panic if you think there's a lot of work. It's all doable. So good luck. The way I've laid out the course, everyone can and should get an A+.